Today we're going to be using mPlayer, which uh, if not installed will definitely be in your repositories. It's a very commonly used tool. Uh, we're going to use mPlayer to capture video from your webcam uh, and display it on the screen for screencasts. So if you're recording a video like this and you want people to be able to not only see what's on the screen but see you as well, you can do that with mPlayer. So let's get started. We're going to use mPlayer and we're going to do dash TV driver and the TV driver we're going to use is V4L2. Now this driver will work for many webcams but not necessarily all webcams so I apologize if this does not work with your webcam I believe it also works with uh, many TV tuners as well so if you have a TV tuner you can use this command to uh, show uh, a TV show that you're watching on the screen while you're working. Anyway, uh, so we will give it that driver and we're going to say dash VO video out XV and I believe it's just saying to use our X display to display this and then we're going to say TV colon forward slash forward slash is telling us to use the TV device which is your webcam I believe that if you have more than one uh, TV device so if you have a TV tuner and a webcam I believe but don't quote me on this you put a number after this zero or one or two I think it's something like that anyway I'm gonna hit enter here and see what happens hey look at that get a nice video of me up on the screen with my new mic well it's not necessarily a new mic. I've actually had this mic for about 10 years. I just couldn't find it. Found it when I was moving last month. Bought myself a nice little uh, cheapy uh, boom mic stand uh, so that I can uh, get maybe better audio on these videos that I'm working on. So anyway, I'm going to close that. Move on with the tutorial. So we got the video up on the screen. But there's a lot more we can do with this. One that was a pretty big video. We're going to change the size of the video. So I'm going to go back over here to where it says driver v4l2 we're going to put a colon and I'm going to say width and I'm going to say we want the width to be 200 uh, and then we can also do height and give it a height uh, and we'll say equals 175 I'll hit enter there and I'll drag the video over here so there we go we got a smaller video but I do want to note at least with my webcam this height doesn't mean anything. Look, I can change it to 575 and the video is the same size because it keeps the X aspect and ratio of the video. Um, so it's based on the width so I can get rid of that completely and still get the video over here. But if I wanted to change the size of it, I can change this to like 500. And there we go. We got a larger video now. Uh, just keep that in mind. I'm not sure if that's the same with all webcams. So I'm just going to set that to 200. Next, I'm going to set the geometry. So I'm going to say dash geometry. And then in quotations, we're going to give tell it where we want it on the screen. And this is the, the first number is going to be the left of the video. And the second number is going to be the top of the video. Uh, so we can give it pixels. So let me say... A thousand colon uh, I'll say 800 and I'll hit enter and that's where the video pops up uh, and that's based on your screen resolution I can change this to 600 and hit enter and you can see it moved it because the first number is the left of the video screen and so it's moved to the left there uh, you can also do a percentage so if I want it to be down in the bottom of the screen, I can say go 95% over on the screen and 95% down and hit enter and it will put it down here. I can change those numbers. I can say 75 and 65 and I'll probably put it right, yeah, right about there. And you can always drag it after, at least at this point. I'm going to set that back to 95 and 95. And Another thing we can add is we can go dash no border. And what this is going to do is take away the border of the video. Now, 
This does uh, make it so you can't move the video. I can even try alt clicking and dragging and it doesn't work. So just keep in mind if you get rid of the border, uh, I don't think you can move the video uh, once it's started up. I can come back in the terminal here and I can hit Q to quit out of that. And uh, you do notice that when I click on the terminal, my video goes behind the terminal, uh, just like any other program would. Well, we're going to change that. And we're going to add another command, dash on top. And this will keep the video on top. So I can click on the terminal here, I can drag it around. And as you can see, the video stays on top which is just what we want for a project like this. So that is how you can do a on-screen video from your webcam for your podcast or webcast or, or whatever. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm going to quickly go over the command here one more time. We've got mPlayer, which is the program we're using. We're going to say it's a TV device uh, and the drivers for that TV device equal v4 L2 and then a colon and the width and height if you'd like uh, of the video. Uh, the video out is going to be XV and then we're going to say the video device here is TV colon forward slash forward slash. Geometry is the positioning, the top and the left of the video. We've got dash no border to get rid of the border on the video and dash on top to keep the video on top and you can also use a lot of these commands when you're just playing videos so you can use the geometry the no border and the on top if you want to have a video playing and you want it to be on top with no border you can you can do that while you're working so anyway I thank you for watching I hope that you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. It's Chris with a K. The link's in the description. If you have any questions, please post them in our forum so that we can have a uh, community going of people answering questions because I do get a lot of questions and I can't answer them all myself. And that's filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. IRC is on Freenode, Films by Chris, or go to filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. Thank you for watching. Keep on using open source and keep on watching my videos. Have a great day.